Enniskillen. Enniskillen is a town and civil parish in County Fermanagh, Northern Ireland. It is located almost exactly in the center of the county, between the upper and lower sections of Loch Hearn. It had a population of 13,823 in the 2011 census. It was the seat of local government for the former Fermanagh District Council, and is the county town of Fermanagh as well as its largest town. The town's name comes from the this refers to Seathlen, a figure in Irish mythology who may have been a goddess. Local legend has it that Seathlen was wounded in battle by an arrow and attempted to swim across the River Urn, which surrounds the island, but she never reached the other side, so the island was named in reference to her. It has been anglicized many ways over the centuries Inniskillen, 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 and so on. The town's oldest building is Inniskillen Castle, built by Hugh, Maguire, the hospitable who died in 1428. An earthwork, the sconce on the shore of Loch Hearn, may be the remains of an earlier mott. The castle was the stronghold of the junior branch of the Maguires. The first water gate was built around 1580 by Cuchonic Maguire, though subsequent lowering of the level of the loch has left it without water. The strategic position of the castle made its capture important for the English in 1593, to support their plans for the control of Ulster, this was achieved by a Captain Dowdle in February 1594. Maguire then laid siege to it, and defeated a relieving force at the Battle of the Fort of the Biscuits at Drummain Bridge on the Arnie River. Although the defenders were relieved, Maguire gained possession of the castle from 1595 to 1598 and it was not finally captured by the English until 1607. This was part of a wider campaign to bring the province of Ulster under English control. The final capture of Enniskillen Castle in 1607 was followed by the plantation off Ulster, during which the lands of the native Irish were seized and handed over to planters loyal to the English crown. The Maguires were supplanted by William Cole, originally from Devon, who was appointed by James I to build an English settlement there. Captain Cole was installed as constable and strengthened the castle wall and built a fair house on the old foundation as the center point of the county town. The first Protestant parish church was erected on the hilltop in 1627. The Royal Free School of Fermanagh was moved onto the island in 1643. The first bridges were drawbridges, permanent bridges were not installed before 1688. By 1689, the town had grown significantly. During the conflict which resulted from the ousting of King James II by his Protestant rival, William III, Enniskillen and Derry were the focus of Williamite resistance in Ireland, including the nearby Battle of Newtown Butler. Enniskillen and Derry were the two garrisons in Ulster that were not wholly loyal to James II, and it was the last town to fall before the siege of Derry. As a direct result of this conflict, Enniskillen developed not only as a market town but also as a garrison, which became home to two regiments. The current site of Fermanagh College, now part of the Southwest College, was the former Enniskillen Jail. Many people were tried and hanged in the square during the times of public execution. Part of the old jail is still used by the college. Enniskillen is the site of the foundation of two British Army regiments. The town's name, with the archaic spelling, continues to form part of the title to the Royal Irish Regiment, 27th, Enniskillen, 83rd and 87th and Ulster Defence Regiment. Enniskillen Castle features on the cap badge of both regiments. Enniskillen was the site of several events during the Troubles, the most notable being the Remembrance Day bombing in which 11 people were killed. Bill Clinton opened the Clinton Center in 2002 on the site of the bombing. The Provisional Irish Republican Army claimed responsibility for the attack. Enniskillen is classified as a medium town, i.e. with population between 10,000 and 18,000 people by the Northern Ireland Statistics and Research Agency NISRA. On Census Day, March 27, 2011, there were 13,823 people living in Enniskillen, 5,733 households, accounting for 0.76% of the knee total. Of these. On Census Day in 2011, there were 13,823 people living in Enniskillen. This was up 1.7% from the 2001 census. As throughout Britain and Ireland, Enniskillen experiences a maritime climate with cool summers and mild winters. The nearest official Met Office weather station for which online records are available is at Loch Navar Forest, about northwest of Enniskillen. Data has also more recently been collected from Enniskillen St. Angelo Airport, under north of the town centre.
which should in time give a more accurate representation of the climate of the Enniskillen area. The absolute maximum temperature is, recorded during July 2006. In an average year, the warmest day is and only 2.4 days a year should rise to or above. The respective absolute maximum for St. Angelo is. The absolute minimum temperature is, recorded during January 1984. In an average year, the coldest night should fall to. Loch Navar is a frosty location, with some 76 air frosts recorded in a typical year. It is likely that Enniskillen Town Center is significantly less frosty than this. The absolute minimum at St. Angelo is, reported during the record cold month of December 2010. The warmest month on record at St. Angelo was August 1995 with a mean temperature of, mean maximum, mean minimum, while the coldest month was December 2010, with a mean temperature of, mean maximum, mean minimum. Rainfall is high, averaging over 1,500 mm. 212 days of the year report at least 1 mm of precipitation, ranging from 15 days during April, May, and June, to 20 days in October, November, December, January, and March. The Kutpin climate classification subtype for this climate is, Marine West Coast Climate slash Oceanic Climate. Football The town has two association football teams called Dennis Killen Rangers and Dennis Killen Town United FC. Enniskillen Rangers are the current holders of the Irish Junior Cup, defeating Hill Street 5-1 on Monday, May 1, 2017. The match was played at the National Football Stadium at Windsor Park in Belfast. They play their home games at the Ball Range. Enniskillen Rangers have several notable former players including Sandy Fulton and Jim Cleary. Enniskillen Town United FC currently play in the Fermanagh and Western First Division. Their most notable former player is Michael McGovern who currently plays for Norwich City FC at the moment, Enniskillen Town play their home games at the Lakeland Forum playing fields in Enniskillen. Rugby Enniskillen Rugby Football Club was founded in 1925 and plays their home games at Mullineen. The club currently fields three senior men's teams, a senior ladies' teams, a range of male and female youth teams, a vibrant mini section and a disability tag team called the Enniskillen Elks. The rugby club was formed on 28 August 1925, when 37 attended a meeting in Enniskillen Town Hall. The name Enniskillen Rugby Club was agreed and the club adopted the rules of Dublin University. The first match was played on 30 September 1925 against Bally Shannon in County Donegal. Gaelic football Enniskillen Gales are a Gaelic Athletic Association club founded in 1927. They played their home games at Brewster Park, Enniskillen. Enniskillen was the venue of the 39th G8 Summit which was held on the 17th and 18th of June 2013. It was held at the Loch Hearn Resort, a five-star hotel and golf resort on the shore of Loch Hearn. The gathering was the biggest international diplomatic gathering ever held in Northern Ireland. Among the G8 leaders who attended were British Prime Minister David Cameron, United States President Barack Obama, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and Russian President Vladimir Putin. In the past, Enniskillen has hosted an array of international events, most notably stages of the World Water Ski World Cup, annually from 2005 to 2007 at the Broadmeadow. Despite its success, Enniskillen was not chosen as a World Cup stop for 2008. In January 2009, Enniskillen hosted the ceremonial start of Rally Ireland 2009, the first stage of the WRC FIA World Rally Championship 2009 calendar. There are numerous schools and colleges in and around the Enniskillen area, from primary level to secondary level, including some further education colleges such as the Technical College. Railway lines from Enniskillen Railway Station link the town with Derry from 1854, Dundalk from 1861, Bundoran from 1868 and Sligo from 1882. By 1883 the Great Northern Railway, Ireland, absorbed all the lines except the Sligo, Leitrim, and Northern Counties Railway, which remained independent throughout its existence. In October 1957 the Government of Northern Ireland closed the GNR line, which made it impossible for the SL and NCR continue and force it also to close. The nearest railway station to Enniskillen is Sligo Station which is served by trains to Dublin Connolly and is operated by Yarnrod Aaron. The Dublin Sligo railway line has a two-hourly service run by Yarnrod Aaron official site, timetables. Bookings and operations The connecting bus from Sligo via Manor Hamilton to Enniskillen is Route 66 operated by Bus Aaron. 
Manhattan. Enniskillen has an extensive bus service. Both Ulster Bus and Bus Aaron serve from Anna through the bus station in Enniskillen. Leiden's coaches operate Route 930 linking Enniskillen to Swan Linbar, Bonboy, Ballyconnell, Belterbet, and Cavan. Number 261. 261B and X261 Gold Line buses run from Belfast to Enniskill and frequently, if not daily. The bus Aaron Route 30 runs from Donegal to Dublin Airport slash Dublin City and stops off at Enniskill and Bus Station. Enniskill has a World War II era airport, Enniskill and slash St. Angelo Airport. The airport had scheduled flights in the past, but now serves mainly private traffic. The town is on the main A4 slash N16 route linking Belfast and Sligo, and on the main Dublin to Ballyshannon route, the N3 slash A46 slash A509. Enniskillen was originally twinned with Brackweed, a Bielefeld suburb, where the Enniskillen Dragoon Guards were stationed in the late 1950s when the twinning was initiated, however, this suburb was incorporated into Stadt Bielefeld in 1973, the city with which Enniskillen is now officially twinned. Though the twinning arrangements are still operational, at a meeting of the Regeneration and Community Committee, in February 2018, it was agreed that the twinning arrangements would be formally terminated at the end of the council term in June 2018. However, Fermanagh and Oma District Council still have plans to send representatives to Brackweed for the 60th anniversary celebrations of the twinning. Therefore, the future of the twinning is now somewhat unclear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.